sure on this Sunday evening as we get a little bit closer to the holiday. And 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor, he joins us now for a closer look at how the forecast is shaping up. It, it's so warm, Mike, it, it feels like you sort of need the rain to, to break the heat a bit. Yeah, I and mean, in fact, during this time of atmosphere that we have right now is only actually going to add a little bit to the moisture, but it definitely feels like summer when you step outside. And that's what helped to fuel some of those showers and thunderstorms that only a few of us saw out there. Uh, here's a look at the challenging the record scenario here. Today's high so far, at least 86 degrees. The storms kind of came through the area and really stopped the heat. Uh, today's record 87 that was set back in 2007 and Memorial Day 90 set back in 2012. So we fell just shy of that number. You can see the high temperatures across Metro Detroit, Lapeer at 85, Pontiac at 86 and Howell at 86 degrees, Ann Arbor at 84 and Detroit and Monroe 86 for the high temp. So we'll get pretty close to the records, not only for today, but also for the day tomorrow as well. But we're far above average by about 14 degrees, 72 is where we should be for this time of year. We're at 85, it feels just a little bit warmer than that at 87. And we still have some storms on radar right now. And some, most of those storms are actually passing through the I-94 area as they make their way towards, uh, not through Dearborn, but also through Riverview and also Wyandotte as well. Uh, 87 degrees is what it feels like currently. Uh, we'll continue to see areas like Monroe to deal with that heat index, but just doing a quick check of the radar, you'll find that most of the rain is lingering around 94. Uh, most of this is going to be drifting slowly towards the east, and a lot of these storms are going to fall apart as, after sunset. So these are sun-driven storms near Taylor and Huron and uh, near Belleville as well, and eventually conditions are going to improve. Let me show you future casts for the day tomorrow. Once again, like today, we'll start off relatively quiet with some fog. And then in the heat of the afternoon, sunshine goes to work in conjunction with the muggy meter going up and some more storms will be possible with high temps climbing into the mid to upper 80s. So your Memorial Day forecast starts us off at 67 with some fog, 84 degrees into the afternoon for a high of 87. There will be an opportunity for storms in the afternoon. And once again on Tuesday, so this pattern will still hold into the middle of the work week for next week. In fact, the seven day forecast will show you that the 80s will be here for a couple of more days and that's going to keep the storms in play. And then a cold front moves in that drops our low temperatures back to the 50s and highs to the 70s and we lose the humidity. So it will be a refreshing change. All right. We are all looking forward to that change.